Hey, what is up everybody? This is Jason with DevSlopes.com and in this video, we are going to cover backgrounds and borders in CSS. So let's hop to it. All right, so we've already learned that with backgrounds, we can add a color or a gradient. Now, when we use the term background, it's a shorthand for a bunch of other background options that we may have. Let me, uh, let me show you an example. So above your container here, let's uh, create some space. And at the top here, what we're going to do is grab the body tag, all right, the body element. Now, when we begin typing in the word background, you can see that background is a shorthand term, but it also gives us a list of all these other different types of backgrounds we can use, such as the background attachment, clip color, background image, orange position, background size. I mean, this is a list of stuff that we can use. Now, when we use the shorthand uh, version of background, um, we got to know the, the syntax, the value that you can add to the other side of this, all right? Um, but however, when you use a, a more specified version of the uh, background property, it will kind of give you some helpers of what kind of values uh, you can throw in there. So we've got our body selected. Why don't we go ahead and add a background image to this? And we're gonna, there's a few different options we can use uh, to add an image, and I'm gonna use the URL, all right? And then go ahead and close that off. So let's go grab an image now. So come into your uh, browser here. Make this full screen for us, and just uh, search for something appropriate, all right? And I'm gonna type in minimal uh, zebra background. All right, and let's go into uh, images. I'm just going to grab this uh, first zebra one here. That looks pretty good. And we can see the dimensions is a 600 by 375. So it's kind of a smaller image, but when you're looking for an image, I want you to find a smaller image because I'm going to show you how to work with that, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and right click on this, save as, and I'm going to throw it into my project right here, okay? And I'm going to change the name to just zebra and no I do not have rights to this image do not use it commercially unless it says so alright so we've got the uh, zebra in our project so I'm gonna go back uh, here and inside the background image URL I'm gonna type in zebra and it's grabbing the zebra because I've just got it at a top level over here alright so perfect so we've got that in there let's go ahead and see what this looks like going to go ahead and launch the uh, browser here. Cool. Well, that didn't work as expected, right? I mean, it is taking our zebra and it's stamping it uh, all over the place. Now, the reason it's doing this is because we grabbed a smaller image, right? And the browser, because it's a specific image size, it's filling up the extra space so it doesn't so the browser doesn't leave all this white space with it the browser doesn't know what to do with this exactly so let's come over to brackets and go ahead and get the container out of the way just take the content and I'm pressing a uh, command option forward slash just commenting it out um, and let's use it a few other background properties that we can use to help us with this so first we saw that our background image was repeating right so we can do a background repeat property and then it comes with a few different options for us and we're going to click the no repeat. All right, save that and then let's check it out. Well, cool. It's not repeating anymore because we told it. So the browser is now just giving us one image. It's not repeating it, but check this out. It's left all this empty white space. All right, so let's learn about another background property. Um, back over into brackets, uh, right under the background repeat, let's type in background size, okay? And then we're gonna use cover in this. Now when you're working with a background size, this is specific to working with a background image, okay? Um, you can't like set a background size of a height or width of anything else. It, it directly targets the image that you're working with on the uh, element, okay? So let's come back over to here, and that looks better, right? Now we've got our image covering the entire viewport of the browser. Now, 
when you're wanting to use an image uh, as a background uh, to your website or your web app, do use an image that has the appropriate dimensions. Uh, go ahead and resize it, use something in high definition. Uh, this was a smaller image and we stretched it out over the viewport. You can see how fuzzy uh, that it's become. All right, so cool. That is uh, backgrounds. You can use backgrounds for colors and then you can also set backgrounds uh, for images. All right, and you can take these background uh, properties here and you could add these to additional elements. Like if I had a container and wanted a background to this specific container or a section of my website, you can add a background property to this. All right, so again, you can use this shorthand uh, background property and then you know come up with the appropriate uh, value that you can add to it or you can be a little bit more specific in the background property that you want to use. So moving forward, let's go ahead and start working with borders, all right? So let's come down here. So we're in our container. Um, outside of our container, why don't we go ahead and create another uh, div tag here. All right, close that off. And then inside of here, we're just going to throw an image. So go do an image and we'll give it a source, leave it empty for now. And then we're going to add a class onto this and I'm just going to type in uh, border image. Okay, awesome. So let's go ahead and go grab an image for this. And I'm going to come up here. I like the minimal stuff. So minimal lion. All right, and then let's pop over to images. And I'm going to use this one right here. It's a 400 by 300, so it's not going to take up my entire web page here. I'm going to do save image as. And again, throw this into your project, whatever image you decide to use. And perfect, so that's saved. So back over to brackets. Inside the image right here in the source, let's go ahead and add that image in there. All right, so we've added our image, and let's check it out, make sure it's loading. Perfect. So we've got our image right here. Let's go ahead and work with some borders and different ways that we can use these. All right, so come over here. We're gonna grab uh, the image class that we have, okay, the border image. And then inside of here, let me add some space uh, below this so we can see what we're working with here. So just like using the uh, background property, we can use the shorthand uh, for border. Okay, and then we can go ahead and add our value in here. Now, when you uh, saw this, there you, we can use the shorthand uh, border property, or it can get a little bit more specific, like border bottom. Uh, we have colors, we have radiuses here, we have border styles, widths, collapse colors, images, uh, border left, colors, uh, tons of stuff, right? We have tons of stuff. Um, and in this case, what I'm going to do is I, I want to add a border to every single side of this image. So I'm just going to use the standard shorthand border property. So to use a border, uh, to add a value, we need to first set the width of the border, okay? And we can do that with pixels. So I'm going to set a two pixel width to my border. All right, now we need to define uh, what kind of border we want to use. And the first one we're going to use is a solid. All right, and then the third value that we're going to throw in here is a color. And let's just use red so it shows up easily. So we've got a border, and this is going to put a two pixel radius around the entire thing, top, right, left, and bottom. We're giving it a solid border of color red. Let's check that out. Cool. So you can see that we've got a red border here. Very cool. Now, uh, let me show you this. We could be uh, specific here and just do like a border right, okay? And what this is gonna do is it's gonna add a two pixel solid red border to the right of our image now. And we've got that over here. All right, I'm gonna actually go ahead and make this a little bit thicker so we can see it. Let's do 10 pixels. All right, so now we've got a thicker border that we can work with. And we can also change this value from a solid, all right? We can use a dotted value which is going to give us a dotted uh, line here. And then we can also use a dashed uh, value there. And we're gonna go ahead and throw this around the entire thing. 
All right, pretty simple stuff, right? Very, very easy. And that wraps up this lesson. We have learned how to use colors and images with backgrounds uh, in addition to gradients. And then we've also learned how to use borders and the different ways that we can style them. So that's a wrap, let's move on. Thank <laughs> you.